Hello, welcome back to another episode of Nourished Sundays. I'm your host, Joanna, certified in holistic nutrition from the Canadian School of Natural Nutrition, and you can find me at Atma Holistic. This series is all about healthy eating, decoding what may work best for you and your family to support everyone in the journey towards wholeness and wellness. I know we get a lot of information nowadays um, from conflicting sources, and one day we hear that this is good, the other day we hear it's actually bad, and there's a lot of things um, that we get from the news and all sources. Um, so in this series, I take good things for you and provide you tangible tips um, to make your life better. Today I want to talk about fish, because most of us have heard that fish is a great thing to add into your diet. Um, it is um, a great source of omega-3, healthy fats, proteins, nutrients, and most of us know that it's important to eat fish to support, you know, our wellness, our body, and especially for little ones whose brains are growing and absorbing things, all those omega-3s are amazing. Now, I want to give you a bit of, um, you know, information as to how to choose fish, because unfortunately, in our current world, um, there's a lot of pollution in the ocean, in the waters, you probably know about it, um, and you know, that gets into the fish that we eat. So there's a few ways um, to choose better. Um, so first of all, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you like two, two tips, so two easy ways to to choose your, your fish and, and have, there's a bit of info in each. So first of all, avoid farmed fish. So always, always check if the fish is wild caught or farmed and preferably it's if it's wild caught from cold waters uh, because uh, usually there is, you know, less, not that there is less pollution in cold water, um, but often the, the healthy fat uh, content of the fish that uh, lives in cold water is actually much better for us. So um, always want to prefer cold water wild caught fish. Be why you may ask? Because well, first of all, um, farmed fish has also actually been been shown to contain more omega six uh, than wild caught fish, and omega six is one kind of omega that is actually inflammatory. So it's actually not that good for you. Now, um, usually in most things, there is a balance between the different omegas, so omega-3, omega-6, omega-9. We kind of need a bit of both, like omega-6, I'm not saying that we don't need it. The thing is that if there is too much of it, that is gonna um, cause more inflammation in your body. So you don't want that. Um, and the good fats like omega-3, and omega-9 tend to balance that out. The problem with uh, farmed fish is that there is way more omega-6 than the other omegas, so avoid that. The other reason is um, farmed fish are routinely uh, given antibiotics because there's so many fishes in the, you know, in the farm, they give them antibiotics to, you know, avoid illnesses and to be able to sell the fish. So those antibiotics, they, you know, when we eat it, it gets into our bodies too. And uh, we already have enough, um, you know, moments in our lives when we have to take antibiotics or when we're given antibiotics. And that actually also um, is a cause of inflammation and um, irritation, especially in your guts. And the third reason is uh, there's actually um, researchers have found a lot of PCBs, which are cancer cancer-causing chemical. They are at a higher level, at a higher concentration level in farm fish, so those cancer-causing chemicals. Thank you. All right, and then um, the second thing I want to tell you about how to choose fish. Um, so one thing uh, is that in fish, um, because of all the toxicity in the ocean, um, there is often a very high uh, content of heavy metals, especially mercury, which is super toxic to us. This is a toxic fat soluble pollutant. Um, so fat, fish is fat, it's good fats, 
most of it. Um, so that's gonna, you know, get absorbed into the fish and then it get, goes into our fat too and that has terrible consequences in our body. Uh, so one way to choose, well, is first you can, um, there's actually amazing charts and resources online where they do testing on different fish and you can see which ones have lower levels, lower concentration of mercury. So go for those fish, um, those fishes, this kind of fish. Now I'm having a big doubt as to if fish goes in plural but anyways you got <laughs> you got the point so um that's one and usually one way is actually like you know the you know the bigger fish so the predators they're gonna have higher concentration because they've eaten other fishes and here we go again um so you know if those fish had mercury that that just kind of increase that concentration of mercury so for example tuna uh because it's a huge predator it has very high levels of mercury so don't we don't want to eat too much of uh, tuna and so generally cod mackerel uh, anchovies are all great sources um of our know, great fishes that don't have a high level of uh, mercury and then have very good um content in terms of fats and other nutrients for us so here you go um i hope this helps to choose fish and to balance up you know the benefits and the toxicity because you know that's one thing that's very important to consider um and you know i know not everyone likes fish but the good thing is that there's many ways to prepare fish um so if you're you know into exploring more um there's many online um, uh, recipes but you can also reach out to me if you want some tips some um, fun and new ways to introduce food into your diet and your kids diet all right this is it for today thank you so much for joining i'll see you again next week with another topic in the meantime eat well and be well ciao